Hello friends, Ben here. Welcome to another episode of Fire Emblem the Blazing Blade. Last time, we visited an altar to pray to the Manikati, but little did we know that Lin was its rightful wielder. This time, we continue on our journey. The secrets of her past revealed in the worlds uh, in the words, sorry, of two knights of Lycia. Now, to meet her grandfather, Lin heads west. To Lycia and to her destiny. A mountain range separates the Sakai Plains from Burn. There are many bandits lurking here, the cruelest of which, of, of which are the Talaver. They wreak havoc on both Sakai and Burn, and their savagery knows no bounds. On her tenth day, away from the plains, Lynn witnesses their atrocities herself. Welcome to Chapter 3, Band of Mercenaries. This place, it's... The entire area is in ruins. Why doesn't their Marquess do anything to help? Talver Mountain is home to a gang of ri vicious, ruthless bandits. No Marquess, no Marquess holds power here. My village was near here, on the other side of the mountain. My people were... The Talver bandits came at night. It took only one night. The survivors numbered less than ten, including me. The soulless beasts. will never forgive them. Never. Lindus. I am not running away. I will be back someday. I'll be stronger. I will break their swords beneath me like twigs beneath a stallion's hoofs. I will avenge my people. I'll do everything in my power. When the time comes, bring me with you. Sane. Don't forget me, either. Don't forget me. Can... Oh, you too, Ben? Yeah, of course. Of course I'm with you. I... You're... Thank you. Wait right there, little lady. What are you going to do to apologize, huh? Uh, I... That is, I... Hey, she's quite a catch, eh, buddy? I bet the boss would give us a pretty penny for her. Yeah, she roughed me off a bit, up a bit, so I figure fair is fair. It's no more than she deserves. I... I... What are we going to do with her flying mule? Don't you dare touch her! What? You just watch your mouth, girly. Do what you will with me, just let her go, please, I beg of you. Ah, ha, 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 silly twit. Pegasi can only be found in Ilya. They're rare beasts, worth more than you by far. We can sell it for a mountain of gold. Let it go? Ha! No, you can't. Come on, let's move. <laughs> What's this? Be on your guard, Lindis. There seems to be some sort of commotion over there. That's, that's a Pegasus. Could it be? Florina? Is that you, Florina? Ah, Lynn? Florina! What are you doing in a place such as this? Lynn! Is it really you? I, I... <clears throat> Come now, no crying. Uh, I'm sorry. Your acquaintances? She's my friend. This is Florina, a Pegasus Knight in training from Ilya. She's a little uncomfortable around men. Tell me, Florina, what happened here? <clears throat> well, uh, when I heard that you had left, I decided to follow you. Then I saw this village. I flew down to ask if they had news of you. I didn't see these two, and, well, did your Pegasus land on them? Well, I, a little... <clears throat> ah, you heard her. She admits her fault. She stepped on my friend, and now she's got to pay. Did you apologize, Florina? Yes. I told them I was sorry many times over. They just wouldn't listen. Don't cry. It's all right. Lynn. <laughs> listen, she's obviously sorry. Can't we just let this pass? You don't appear to be injured or anything. No chance. The girl goes with us. By force if need be. Hey, come out now, boys. The men are fair game, but don't put a scratch on the girls. Um. Sounds like a... Sound, sounds like you're contradicting what you were saying earlier. Ben, we've got to fight back! 
Lin, I... You're Pegasus Knight, aren't you? You can fight, can't you? Yes! Listen carefully, Ben. We're facing bandits. They're underlings, but we can't take them too lightly. Let's clear them out of here. Are you ready? Alright, we have our, our objective. The layout around here might make it difficult to fight. The same holds true for our foe, too. If we use these walls just so, they may ensure our victory. Lin, who's that? This is Ben. He's still an apprentice, but he's my tactician. Huh, I see. Uh, Ben, I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Florina. The Red Roof buildings are villages. Villages are in danger of being attacked. If an enemy unit reaches a village before one of our units does, the village will be destroyed. However, this doesn't apply to every single unit, only to brigands, which are these, which are the shirtless guys with the axes. As quickly as possible, visit the residents and give them warning. Only good can come of it. So let's visit them. Please select Lin. Alrighty. I'm to visit a village, right? Then issue the command. Right. Is anyone there? Leave us alone, you thugs! Go away, go away! We have no more gold for you! No, wait, please, we're not bandits! We want to help the village, please listen! Remain inside, everyone. I'll go see what's happening. Ah, yes, the iconic Together We Ride music. Love it. Not bandits, huh? So, who are you? My name is Lin. My colleagues and I are just traveling through here. We saw some bandits about. We're going to deal with them. But we need you to go and warn the villagers. Hey, wait! My name's Will. I'm a traveler of sorts, too. Listen, these villagers have been kind to me. Mind if I fight with you? Not at all. We need all the help we can get. Welcome aboard, Will. By, by visiting a village, we have gained a new companion. Will is an archer. He uses a bow to fight. Bows can be fired at foes more than one space away. Obstacles won't affect your line of fire. Attacking enemies without moving next to them is called indirect combat. If the enemy has no weapons capable of indirect combat, there's no fear of counterattack, and that's to our benefit. Hell yeah. However, you cannot fire on adjacent spaces. If someone moves next to you and attacks, that's it. Units with bows are best suited to lend assistance from the rear. Let's try, let's try some indirect combat, shall we? Select Will. Alright. I'll use you. Hey, it's me. Will, remember? Why don't you issue a, me a command? I'd love to help. Aw. Alright. Uh, attack. Iron bow. 9 damage. 88% hit. 2% crit. Let's do this. Alright. Next is Florina, a Pegasus Knight. As you might guess, Pegasus Knights have the ability to fly. They can move over almost any terrain type. This small wall would stop most units, but it poses no problem for a Pegasus Knight. Select Florina. Alright! I'm ready to fight. I'll follow your orders. Right. Attack. Now Florina has a, has a slim lance. This has less attack power, but also less weight to double opponents, but Florina won't need that to take down this mercenary. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> knowing your units and their abilities and knowing how to use them in battle is a shortcut to victory. To learn everything about a unit, place that cursor on, the on that unit and press the R button. That is how I was doing bios. On the note of bios, I think it's time that we review our new units. First off, Florina. She starts out pretty fragile, but she has great utility and great availability. Like, and she can become very useful. She can pretty much become the ultimate glass cannon if you use her in the next few chapters. And even, even here, she is pretty reliable against any sword users that the enemy has. Because going forward, we're not just going to be fighting axe units all the time. Now, Will, on the other hand, is not nearly as useful. His only purpose is indirect combat. And... On top of that, archers tend to be pretty weak, especially in this game. 
and he also has just low base stats, low speed growth, and which, which leads to him not really being able to double anything, and just, like I said, he's only ever going to be doing indirect combat. He is bow and footlocked, and he will remain so for your entire playthrough. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, Florina is definitely the better investment here. Alright, time to attack. Ken can finally use a lance. <clears throat> and, I mean, there's a lot of axemen, so I'm just gonna use a lance whenever I can. And Ken can take this guy, da, guy down in one hit. And since he's an archer, he can't attack me back because I'm attacking him at one range. That is pretty nifty, not gonna lie. <laughs> Now, I don't want to move any of my Cavaliers right here, because then this Archer will be able to attack, to attack me, and I won't be able to attack him. So, I'm going to move Sane right here. There we go. <clears throat> Alright. Lin, what should I do? There's an Archer! What? Where? Oh, that's Will. Hi! You're one of Lin's friends? Um... What? What is it? Are you on Will? I'm sorry, Will. Her name is Florina. She's timid around men, and you, you've you got a bow. Sorry, buddy. Oh, I see. You must be a Pegasus then. I apologize for frightening you, but I do understand your fear of bows. Yeah, I'm afraid of bows too whenever I have a Pegasus knight around. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. <clears throat> Even looking at, at a bow frightens me ever so much. Of course, I understand. But you should really only feel, fear the enemy's archers. Not your own. What, are you saying your fear is invalid? Sorry. Yeah, I, actually, I think that's a very valid fear. <laughs> yes, of course. Units that fly, like Pegasus Knights, are very vulnerable to bow attacks. Bow attacks do critical damage to them, so twice the amount of damage they normally do. If the enemy has bow-wielding units, you must be extremely cautious. <clears throat> Alright. But I'm gonna have Florina visit the other village here, because I see some bandits coming to it, and... Florina doesn't do well against, like, brigands right now, so I want to have her visit this village pronto. But before I do that, let me just check the enemy's range. Um, okay, good, so I can move Florina back there. She can probably still have good enough time. You came to help the village? That's good. With so many bandits, I wasn't sure what to do. It's not much, but please, take this money. There's an armory to the southeast of us. Equip yourself as you see fit and help us, please. We've got 2,000 gold. Weapons have the strength to be used only a limited number of times. As you fight, their endurance drops. At zero, the weapon breaks and disappears from your inventory. Check your weapon endurance by <clears throat> placing the cursor on a unit and pressing the R button. You can also check on the item screen. The number next to the weapon is its endurance. Be careful. Without a weapon, a unit cannot enter combat. Alright. Now I'm gonna move that guy. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna move Florina right here. Okay. Just checking. Yeah. The mercenary can attack me, but the brigand can't. Okay, we're good. Uh -huh. Alright, I'm going to attack... Alright. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll have attack... I'll, I'll have Ken attack this guy. Okay. And I'm standing in a forest, so I shouldn't really need to worry about being hit a lot. Alright. Hmm. <clears throat> Will right there. Insane. I can't really do much with him right now, so I'll just... Uh, yeah, I can move him here. Alright. Misses me, and, and he's dead meat. Points or no points, he's dead meat. Alright. Kent levels up again. Let's see what he got. Strength and defense. Okay, not bad. Uh, <clears throat> it's only a plus two, but it's a good plus two. Right. 
that was that was a good matchup. All right. Now, Kent. Wow, Kent's not even taking any damage from that archer. I didn't really have too much to worry about, I guess. Huh. All right. Now, this. It says this brigand can only move one space because Florine is still there. However, you can check the enemy stats and see that this brigand only has five movement. So if I were to move Florina out of the way, his move, um, he would be able to move one, two, three, four, five spaces all the way here. Or let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And this guy. Okay, I'm gonna try and bait that enemy out. Or, maybe I don't need to worry about that. Oh, hold on, let's see. Okay. Yeah, but I would have to heal up Florina afterwards, but good thing she has a vulnerability. Yeah. I like that experience, so... Wow, critical hit! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Slim Lances. Um, I believe they have a slightly higher chance of criticals than... Yeah, crit 5 on when iron, when regular iron weapons have a crit rate of 0. Yeah, like, in, at least at, the, at their base without factoring in, you know, our skill. Now, I'm gonna have Kent attack this mercenary. I probably should have used the Lance for that, but, you know, there are brigands around. I probably don't really want to risk that. Um, now, I'm gonna have Sane attack the archer. Um, Sane looking heroic is not your priority right now. So, yeah. Attack that guy. Hmm. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait to, I'm not gonna move Lynn up to this wall because I know the archer's just gonna attack her, so I'll move Will there. Alright. Sane, he's in a forest. Yeah, you might miss an 87. <laughs> I'm just making fun of him at this rate. I mean, he hasn't really been drinking his respect women juice. Ooh, that's a, that's a bad hit. That's like, that's a bad hit. All right, I will have to. I, uh, because uh, Florina had weapon disadvantage and plus she doesn't have the best defense in the world. So yeah. Oh man. Okay, <clears throat> so, yeah, there's four enemies left. The mission objective is to route the enemy, so, or defeat them in this case. Um, so, yeah, kill every last one of them, basically. And, uh, I think that's, given how Lin was acting the start of this chapter, I think, uh, I think that's exactly what she wants to do. Alright, Sane gets a level up. Um, HP, strength, and luck, okay. Um... Oh, I could just, I could attack this guy. Yeah. Wow. Farina's pretty low on HP, but yeah, she can't be attacked if he goes there. Perfect. All right. Now, flying units don't get terrain bonuses because they're, you know, up in the air. But, you know, but this guy can't attack me anyway. I mean, if he could, if Florina somehow managed to miss a 96, which that has happened before, um, <clears throat> then this archer could have the potential to hit me, but, I mean, I could just finish him off with Kent, Kent, but I don't, I really don't want that to happen. Alright, attack once. Okay, good. I am not falling victim to really bad RNG, because that has happened to me before, and it is not fun, trust me. Ah, HP and speed. Alright, um, yeah. Florina's uh, HP, or her, uh, her, like, her, her, her strength, yeah, strength growth is pretty low, but like, but like, I don't really mind it too much. I mean, she should still be able to be an effective unit. So yeah, I'm going to Lynn right here, and I'm going to send Kent to the armory. Now, this is a place where you can buy items. Right now, you can only really buy uh, iron swords and iron lances. I'm not going to really buy much here because you do actually get graded on how much money you spend in like the first few chapters of the game, um, and that does sort of, that does affect like uh, 
something like later on. I can't really spoil it right now, but you know, I don't want to spend too much money on weapons if I can help it, because I don't want to end up wasting my money. So, I'm gonna, let's see, should I have Sane attack that guy? Or, okay. Um... I, yeah, I don't want, I, I don't want to have to put Florina in too much da danger, so I'll just, I'll form like a sort of defensive wall around her, uh, make it so this bandit can't attack her. See, sometimes, like, sometimes playing Fire Emblem defensively is the way to go, because it's just, you know, because it ensures that your units don't die, because, you know, if you rush in, it's going to be tough for you sometimes. I mean, more like all the time. <laughs> Okay, Kent has five items. Oh wait, oh wait, I could have just traded that thing. Okay, um, <clears throat> I'll move Will into this forest here, and, okay, Bandit's gonna attack Sane. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, let me just check if the boss has any droppable items. No, he doesn't, so... I'm gonna trade up an Iron Lance over to Florina. Now, she won't really be able to double as well with that because she doesn't have the highest constitution. But she can, but uh, going forward, she'll have a much easier time doubling with that. So yeah, yeah, Slim Lance has a better chance of hitting. I'm going with that. Ooh, she missed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, good. Good. Because I really actually want to train up Florina, so yeah. I know uh, this is kind of risky sending a Lance user in, into like hmm, situations with a uh, like uh, hmm, with brigands, but you know it worked in the end. So yeah. Now, okay. As you can see, the boss isn't standing on like on anything that would give him train bonuses. He's just standing on a plane stack. Uh, oh, sorry, on a plane space. However, bosses don't usually move, even then. Like, I'll, I'll like, notify you if it, if they, like, in chapters, like, when they do, because they, they do that, they do do that sometimes, and it can catch you off guard, but, you know. Here, it's, it's a, they're taking it a little easier on you. Alright. Now, we're gonna take down this guy. Okay. 14 damage. Even that's 29 hit hit rate, but yeah. Oh wait, I haven't gone over what the Monikati does. Okay. So the Monikati it, it says effective against infantry. However, what this really means is it's effective against knights. This is a typo right here. It's supposed to be effective against cavalry and armored units, which we haven't really seen much of, but we will see later. This is why I usually prefer not to use the Manikati much unless you're fighting, unless I'm fighting a boss. All right, but I'm I'm gonna just I'm gonna wait here just to make sure he doesn't hit me twice, cause you know you never know when that's gonna happen. So yeah, I'm gonna use another Vulnerate on the Arena, heal her up. Um, probably didn't need to do that, but whatever. Did it so now, iron sword and we will right there. Yeah. Now, okay. This is our first case of characters uh, commenting on boss fights. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. There's something I wanted to ask you. Thing for your life so soon, wench. Are you Taliver bandits? Taliver. Those greedy monsters, we're nothing like them. Those fiends will even kill women and children. We're from Ganelon, and we know a little something of honor. We don't harm women for one thing. Um, you were kind of... <sighs> you, you guys are such hypocrites. <laughs> After all, I kill what you can sell. If you're not Talibur, then there's no reason for you to die here today. If you'd like to tuck your tails and flee, do so now. You... No more courtesies. You're going to learn to watch your tongue. Okay, good. He missed. Ooh, Lin got a critical hit. Wow. 
However, that still wasn't enough. Critical hits do three times the amount of damage, and six times three, three is 18, so... Yeah, he's only on one HP. Let to see if we can kill him with Farina. I actually want to try this. Okay. All right. Many people may consider this cheating, but I'm playing this on Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pass, so... Yeah, creating a suspend point. All right, Florina, don't let me down. You got this. Uh, excuse me. Oh, wow, I didn't know Florina had unique conversations with the boss. Huh? It's you. So, you changed your mind about coming with us, eh? Well, no. But this really is my fault. Really? So, can we... What? Come on, lass, out with it. I'm sorry, can we... Can we just stop fighting now? You gotta be kidding. After I've been made to look like a fool? No way! Eh. You're coming with us, I promise you that. Now, if you don't want to get hurt, give yourself up. Alright. Florina kicked his butt. Alright. To live to regret this. My brothers, the Ganelon bandits will not let this stand. Well, bring it on, man. Arena levels up. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Strength, speed, and luck, and HP. HP is bound to level up with, uh, with to get an increase with almost every level up. All right, that's finally taken care of. Lynn, Florina, why did you follow me? It's so dangerous. Do you remember the knighting ceremony of the Pegasus Knights of Ilia? Yes, you joined a free a band of freelance soldiers to further your training. Is that what brought you here, Florina? Uh huh. I wanted to talk to you before I set out, but when I went to Sakai, I heard that you had left with some strangers, and you were worried for me? Thank you, but but I'm more worried about you. Ooh. Me? Listen, most mer mercenaries are men, right? Bands of men? I can't imagine you being at all comfortable around them. I know, I know. It's just... I've always, de I've always dreamt of being a Pegasus Knight. I imagined I was just work it out, somehow. After today, I'm not so sure. Maybe I should just give up. Farina, don't cry. Yes, there's no reason to give up your dream! <laughs> Lovely Florina, I have the most brilliant idea. Zane, are you trying to motivate her or hit on her? Zane! You should come with us! With the addition of Will here, we're a fine group of soldiers and freelance to boot. Wait, you, did you just include me? Uh, yeah. Same about one of the only people who does. I'm sorry, buddy. Of course, we were destined to meet here. It's fate. Come now, Lindus' band of mercenaries is as good a training group as you will find anywhere. Same, this is no joking matter. Lindus? Um, Lin? Mercenaries? I can give you details later. This is all a bit rushed. <laughs> However, Sane is right. Will he come with us, Florina? Travel with you, Lynn? Truly? I would be so, so happy. Fantastic. Beautiful Florina. I am a knight of Kaylin. My name is Saint. Eh. Yeah, I, I'd be scared of him too, Florina, if I were you, honestly. <clears throat> Stay back. Don't get so close. Oh, beautiful and yet so modest. Sane, stop. I beg your forgiveness. You're calling us mercenaries. Now, I prove we can't leave Florina on her own. She requires special attention, though. Can I count on you? Yes, you have but to ask. Ken's our boy. So, is it really alright if I travel with you? Oh, yes, of course. If you're willing, Will. <laughs> if you're willing. Alright. I, I do actually like Will as a character. I think he's like, I think he's such a nice guy. I just wish he was. Yeah, I wish he wasn't an archer in Blazing Blade, alright? Uh, like, come on. Actually, I'm very grateful. Truth be told, all my money was stolen, and I'm. At a bit of a crossroads. Oh boy. I would be honored to count myself one of Lindus's legion. Hey, hey, I'm giving you credit for coming up with that name, Will. Okay, you're you're a good character. <clears throat> Lindus's legion? This is getting stranger with every day, Ben. I wish I was in that picture. <clears throat> but I get why I'm not. <clears throat> Alright. Well, that was um chapter three. We uh we met a, a young Pegasus Knight and a young Archer. And we fought off the bandits and learned of their name. The Ganelon Bandits. 
<clears throat> Next time on Fire Emblem the Blazing Blade, we take a little rest for a while. Oh. <clears throat> Until then, take care. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys soon.